<laughs> All right, Greninja. Yeah. I set up with the Greninja versus a Richter. I don't know who this is. Yeah, now, so, one th I, I've, I've spoken to some Richters. Slink, yes, Slink. Mm -hmm. I've seen this name before. This person was seated uh, fourth in their pool. Hmm? They were seated fourth in their pool. Oh, in their pool, okay. Yeah. Uh, so one thing about, I've spoken to some uh, Belmont players, and one of the things about the Belmonts is that, you know, a Belmont is always throwing out a projectile, right? Yes. But the second projectile they choose after that Ooh. is where you get to see the personality of the Belmont come in. I feel like we're going back to back on the Wi Fi matches. First, we've seen a mid mid, now we're seeing a Richter again. It's like, it's like we never left. <laughs> was, was it this the whole time? Yeah. It's, it's, it, it's, wait a minute, it's all Wi Fi. <laughs> always has been. Yeah, always has been. Yeah, they, they're doing pretty good today. Ooh, nice oh. back. Wow, that if was. It, that... If there was ever a time to say nice back air, that was it right there, because that was very smooth and clean, very tipper. And uh, I, I feel like the DI on that was a little bit. Um, uh, self-inflicted. Self oh. Ooh. The good. battlefield chase, the classic. When you have a good up air, use it. Yeah, one thing we're seeing is when uh, Aseto is trapped at the ledge, or actually getting off of the ledge pretty easily now and able to do all of this damage immediately once he gets back to the stage. But it felt like for a little while at least, uh, Slink was keeping him there. Getting a lot of damage, so if that's changed, that's gonna be a big, like a game changer if uh, Aseto is now able to get off the ledge easily. Aseto yeah, is doing a really good job of finding the small little gaps in Slink's game plan right now and just getting a little quick damage with these, these low profiles and these dash attacks that they're getting. Very clean. I mean, even sneaking in those little water shurikens when they're in disadvantage was, was pretty nice to see. So let's see what Slink can do about those. One good flame in the forward smash can take that stock. But, like, good, great SDI from Aseto just gets off the top, oh, gets out of the way. Missed by the hair. Yeah. I actually really like that. As the water shuriken to prevent, to scare the Belmont. Because getting tapped by that water shuriken, he's dead off stage with his oh, yeah. garbage aerial mobility oh, yeah. and subpar recovery. He's absolutely going to die from the water shuriken. So, just the threat of that, be able to charge it at the right height, is really going to be important. If you're able to do that to, to Richter, I feel like you're going to have a good time in that matchup if you're just able to chase him offstage. Because one thing that's uh, weak about these characters is they're offstage, but they have to do some crazy stuff just to make it back on. Pressure's on with this up airs, the battlefield. Oh! oh! That looked cool. That looked kind of cool. If, if he got, like, <laughs> somehow managed to put him off stage with that. Yeah, I would have laughed. I would have been like, oh my god, he's dead. <laughs> he would have just died I mean, kicked off. If anything, that still can happen. That, you know, oh, yeah. it's not very often that you see Belmont's used oh. to recover uh, or to get back down to the stage, but if he toast. does that misplaced a little bit. Okay, he toast the head of Doing a little damage there, Slink. He's trying to make this back. Ooh, the catch oh. on the on the flames. Yeah. I will say that like with the uh, with when you have holy water like in your hand like that. It can be uh, a really useful tool, just once the opponent is on like just throw it out there. It just covers so many options. I feel like this is a thing I've seen offline, where people just like, are just reacting to people throwing items at them. Or just like running up and catching them, <gasps> see catching them like very fast. So good to see. Oh, the forward air! The spacing, the neutral. Good stuff to Aseto, taking that game. Yeah, it's felt like, you know, he was struggling at the beginning of that game. It felt like uh, Slink was just doing a great job of walling him out, getting all this damage. But by the end, for instance, I did not see Aseto trapped in the ledge, really. And he definitely wasn't getting stocks taken from him at the ledge like he was earlier on. Oh, no. It was all in Aseto's control right there. He was just making yeah, also, like, the just job jab, much harder. Jab, jab, jab. No. What, yeah, are you're you not, about? <laughs> what are you jabbing? Air? <laughs> you don't you play the jab game with me? I got this big jab button right here. Just that, the jab punisher. It's all reliable. <laughs> Don't you be jabbing me. All right, Pokemon Stadium 2 is the counterpick choice. I love being able to see the counterpick choices again, by the way. It's just a good feeling. <laughs> uh, yes, we know what they're going I don't going know. To I love the guessing game of not of, of pure and wild speculation. That's fine. All right. Pokemon. So, uh, how do you feel about Pokemon Stadium 2 as a uh, counterpick here? Enough space. They definitely won't get cheesed by the up air play from the Ninja. But this, however, is a is a completely different story, though. 
as Greninja can now get these combos that can just lead him off stage. And it's good on the settle to know like the variations of his character's uh, punish team. Yeah, there's oh no tech, you're dead. Done. Out of oh. here. Combo master Aceto. This guy's an execution master. Okay, taking a little bit of time on that platform <laughs> yeah, to reassess. Need to, need to. Sometimes when you get blown up like that, you gotta slow things down a bit and be like, all right, what happened? I got a minute. Six, in fact. Nice, the catch no, back. <laughs> okay, it wasn't quite as flashy, but dang, it was it effective. <laughs> It is the same job that Estelle did to him in stock one. Really good stuff there from Slink. Bring it right back. Making this as competitive as we see. Ooh. Ooh, the flames. Oh, not much of damage there. I just only used dash attack there, so a little bit of center off. Yeah, and now the thing is that because Slink has the lead, Aceto's a force to approach, and Slink is a lot more comfortable with that kind of control. Very comfortable. So the chains, the hooks, everything. The crosses. Let's see if Aceto can jump out of this corner. They do. It's, it's going to be pretty rough to get him right here, though, because Slick is doing a good job of being defensive here. Yeah, Aceto, you saw him jumping a lot and throwing out those aerials, really trying to anticipate and punish Slink for going into the air even once, but Slink never gave it to him. Oh, and that's a kill. Yeah, that's a kill. Slink Solid looking punish. fantastic here, it, especially considering how this game opened. You know, I feel like that brief moment he took on the Angel platform was exactly the respite he needed, because right now he is in control in a game that he wasn't even in game one. Oh, very, very. Slink looked like they stepped it up from that last game. Like, Alright, that was his data. Even though, even though that first stock was clean as hell, Aceto, you got to clean it up for the next two. Okay. Oh, oh that's unfortunate. That's the... Did he still have a jump? I believe he burned it. Did he burn it? I think he just... I think he had a jump here. Uh, well, we can go take back a look, look now. Um, so, he does get the... No, misses the hit, just barely. But neutral air... Into jumps. forward air, fast fell. He had a jump, but he went yeah, for the no, angle. Yeah, wrong. angle it wrong. Yeah, unfortunate. Really yeah. unfortunate. All right, Slink stepped it up that game. That was that was a nice answer back from game one right there. They were caught flailing a bit in game one and just said, all right, we're not going to do that no more. The A button will not be pressed. I'll hit the B button instead. <laughs> and it somehow got the stocks that they needed. Just like all the fires hit, all the, all the smash attacks were confirmed. Yeah, that was a big thing. Is that game one you saw he would get uh, a set of caught in the fire, and a set of would just smash DI, jump out, like he would charge the forward smash and look like a fool. But this time around, he would get underneath it and up smash, recognizing that you know that was a set way of getting out was by you know staying up and jumping out. So he's like, no, so you're not gonna I'll just be right underneath you. Yeah, so it's not a set to not let that happen. You know, go in and go get it. You know, the classic good advice. Every smash you can E2. Oh wow. Yeah, you like that's a one of the big adjustments is that whenever he's landing those uh, holy waters, it's he's getting in there and going for an up smash. Not, not gonna mess around with uh, Aceto's chance to di out. Oh, they're dodging away. The fires is doing all the work right now. Take this. Oh, but right, here's the opening. Opening. death attacks. Pressure's on. That's up to them to get the damage. Oh, they just lost the advantage right there with that nair. This is scary. Drag down with a good tech there from Slink just to avoid getting hit by the follow up. He probably would have died right there. Oh, maybe. He does have the rage. That's a two favorite those down tilts. Or at least catch him for that. Beat. Oh! Very, but it wasn't enough. It's still multi hits. Could he have gone for an up B immediately after the parry? I don't know if it was fast enough. I mean, up B is from. Oh, that was. That was supposed to be an up here from Slink to confirm off that. Oh no! Whip punishes the side beat. It didn't this go far is... enough. And here, I feel like these next 15 seconds are going to be terrible. Because if Slink manages to build a lead here, then we've already seen what happens once Aceto is behind and is forced to approach. Oh, 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 oh. oh wow. Thought they were safe from the fire though, but like. Clearly didn't put a settlement in the sun. Clean down smash, take the stock. 2-2. Two, two. 
I like that, the fact that he air dodged towards the stage because he knew that being underneath that platform didn't give him a tech chase. Uh, or get, like, allow him to tech out of uh, Rizzo's combo. That's the purpose of this counter pick right here, is to tech chase someone to death. Kill him early enough just to end the game. Nice coverage with that Nair. Set up going in with this pressure. Getting all the clean hits they can get. Slink aggressively answering back and just taking their turn. Yeah, every time they go for that side beat, it's just getting clipped, so I'd watch when they throw that out. Oh! This is a, this is a this hard spot. It's a hard spot. <laughs> Finally gets to the fight, but they took too much damage. And the but I gotta play this game again to the other side. Oh, no. Whoa! Spot dodged! And that actually gave us out of the room to make it back. Down here, though! Oh, like, he my God. Did he catch the jump? I, I thought he had invincibility. I think Asano dropped from the ledge to get hit by that. Very rough stuff there. Had to play that uh, get up from the ledge game like twice. Oh, no! Oh, Where bye, are bye. you going? <laughs> you didn't even need the hydro <laughs> pump to get him off there that time. <laughs> That's actually oh, oh, that, that is that, such a. That if was, you're a Seto, you're like, oh man. That was like the homies, the homies talks I've seen today. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, here you go, buddy. Let's make this easy. Having a lead is cheating. That's yeah. how I think about it. Test your mic, sir. Alright. It's death tech to confirm. Solid damage, but oh man. The second it's so scary when you just Richard simply just pushing you off stage. It's like it doesn't feel like it's a big punish, but it's gonna lead to so much. Like it opens up a tree of damage that's just potentially gonna ruin your life. Yeah, one thing is that so a seto is ooh. A seto is like getting past this wall's projectiles, but then not quite familiar with the frame data and trying to punish when in fact, Slink doesn't have enough M lag to receive it. And there it is! Wow! Again, God. the holy water yeah. to up smash. Did he jump into it? Let's see what happened there. I guess there's a replay. Yeah, it's okay. It's a replay so for everything. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to pause this one because this one's Okay, so he's in here. Let's see if uh, Oh man, this is gonna be a, a treat. Let's see if we can see a jump happen. Yeah, there's the jump, oh, right? Oh wow. He jumped into it. SDI'd up and jumped. It was something that was really saving his butt earlier on, but uh, Slink was just ready for it. And look at that catch. Caught him and got the sweet spot with it, too, to kill at, like, what percent was that? Nine huge play. Hold on. Uh, yeah, 130, so oh, that's oh, more than me. enough. Sorry about that. Yeah, that was yeah, quite impressive stuff there from Slink. Ready to, to punch that accordingly. What is it? This music is just... Do not destroy. No more heroes. I know my stuff. All right. 50 more days. 50 more days to no more heroes to me. I'm popping off. Don't Did talk to me. Don't add me. I'm streaming that game. Don't spoil it. This base is nice. <sighs> it's so sick. This is a place where, like, when you're just chilling in the house in that game. Wait, this is, this is no more heroes? Yeah. I've... I I've been seeing, I, this is the thing, one person on my timeline has been super hyped about that game. That's me. And I, <laughs> That's me. <laughs> like, someone else other than you, actually, oh, just, like, has been like super duper hyped about it. And besides them, I've seen nobody talking about <laughs> that game. So right. it's like, I guess the people who love it are really going to be excited about it. But honestly, the music's just nice. The whole, like both, all three games that, that are currently out right now has a great soundtrack. So I recommend them, highly recommend them. And another thing I highly recommend is that you sub and follow the House of 3000. Show us some love, man. We put on a great show for you guys, and I hope you guys are enjoying your time here at Xeno Series, number 206. We're here every week. Instant uploads to YouTube. Yeah. Great emotes on Twitch. We're part of also join our Discord as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, the Discord is is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And he also, if you, by the way, if you if you are going to events, it's really good to join that Discord because important things happen in that Discord that yeah. it's, it's, you should be there for. This isn't even an ad. This is just like a guys make sure that you're in the Discord if you come to events. Um, but here is an ad, Oof. which is come here every Wednesday. I'm dude. I drive an hour and a half to get down here, and honestly, if there were an extra thirty minutes to this commute, I would still do it. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it, man. 100%. And we're doing fighting games here soon. Ooh. Yes. Every Friday, we have, like, small little sessions. 